Thanks a lot, guys. I just got word I got a 30-day ban from freaking Applebee's up here. God. Hey, to the manager, Donna. Donna, I am so sorry. I had no idea it got that insane last night, and you do not deserve this. You're trying to run a restaurant. I get that, dude. It's just like... It's just like Applebee's is my favorite bar. And like, if I don't have Applebee's to go to, where am I going to get drunk at? It's just like, you know what? I'm going to take the 30 days. I deserve it. I did that. That's on me. But like, this is just like the best bar of all time. I mean, like name another bar where you can like get like a bunch of shots and stuff. And then if you want a raspberry freckled lemonade, you can get that too. I am so sorry to everybody who works here, all the staff. Dan, dude, you're just a waiter. You're just trying to make tips, you know, and you got a lot of tables and now you got to freaking break up two of my biker friends. Dude, that is not on you, dude. That one's on me, dude. I should not be bringing my biker buddies up in an Applebee's, dude. I did not know to say that, Dan. I just was like, hey, you guys are wearing two different colors. Are you going to fight? God, Dan, you took a cold cock to the jaw, dude. My bad, dude. I will tip you next time. I promise you, dude. It's like, Donna, maybe this is like not all on me, you know? Like, my brother is part of the problem. Like, I didn't know that like it was going to get insane in there like that. Like, what if like it's a 15-day ban for me and then like a 15-day ban for my brother? Because like, hey, he brought the cigar into Applebee's. I didn't. God, my brother's an idiot, dude, freaking lighting up a cigar and an Applebee's, dude. And I was like, what are you doing? Put that out. And he's like, no, dude, it's okay. You can smoke cigars in here. They've got Bourbon Street steak. What does that mean, dude? And he's like, oh, dude, no, Bourbon Street steak is classy. And so are cigars. God, you idiot. But seriously, Donna, what my fiance did, I'll take full responsibility for that, dude. That's on me, Donna. She should not be bonging beers in an Applebee's. It's just like, you know, I didn't know she had it, dude. She she hid the funnel in her big purse. And then she's just dumping them down her gullet. She doesn't even have a tube for the funnel. She just puts it in her mouth and they just dump Southern Comfort down there. Donna, this is like my favorite bar. And if I can't get riblets, what am I going to do? You know it's awesome in here. Everyone from all walks of life comes in this bar. It's like, name another bar where you can be standing there and then one of your old lunch teachers is there and she's like, hey, do you need any advice? And you're like, oh my God, yeah. And then like, name another bar where an old lady just like kind of massages your back. There are no other bars except Applebee's who do that. I'm sick of this. Donna, I need to come back in here. Where am I gonna get my freaking shrimp poppers? Come on. Everyone knows this is the lit bar. God, you can be standing here. Anyone walks in and goes, hey, what are you doing here? And you just get to go, eating good in the neighborhood. And everybody cracks up at that. Seriously, I'm going to take my bandana, but like, it's not right. And when I come back into this Applebee's one day, I am going to get drunk because everybody knows Applebee's is the most lit bar. Love you guys.